guys 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 what's the answer what's the answer zero sir huh zero na pakka zero only are you sure yes sir yes sir yes sir oh okay i will enter it i'll tell us c what is the c zero you need an explanation for this one guys <coughs> guys you need an explanation for this one or shall i move on no you don't want explanation if one tells us also i'll i will do it yes you need it for example look on here i'll just copy this okay i'll just copy this and i want to do this guys okay so okay so if i don't do this then gone look on here so for example something like this guys look on here 0.01231231 is in the float itself and coming into the float it will remain same thing here nothing changes here till here it is nothing changes here this one nothing changes it will convert to integer guys when it convert to integer this float is converted to integer means it will only become zero now now zero will convert into boolean boolean will become what false it will become here now false will become what false will convert to 0.0 now for integer what will it give only zero it will get it will get it zero so answer will be what zero itself understood Understood, understood, understood. Yeah, that is a, that's as simple as it is. Okay, so uh, maybe like later I'll be having uh, many confusion question. So I just don't want to indulge now, right now. So I'll be just going on to it, right? Uh, so this is fine. Okay, so maybe like one more question. If I give it something like this, uh, C is equal to if I tell like a uh, float of uh, integer of uh, uh, boolean of uh, mm, zero point one, right? Tell me, what's the answer of this one? What's the answer of this one? Oh. Okay, no, sorry. <laughs> okay, what's the answer of this one? Uh, just check it out, just check it out, just check it out. <laughs> being smart now check it out check it out check it out check it out got confused now huh? that's nice when my people get confused now i really like it you know what i feel it people are understanding now okay no Okay, if I enter this one, so if I tell us C here, no, you get it 1.0. Why it is 1.0? You need an explanation for this one? You need explanation, explanation, explanation? No? Others, others, others. If one tells us also, I will go for it. Ah. You, Rani, you are from which college? Okay, look on here. So this is nothing but 1.0, 1. Oh, Vidyavadaka, that's nice. Okay. Okay, uh, 0.1, right? So 0.1, you have it. It is nothing but a true statement, guys. Anything is nothing but a true statement itself. It is nothing but a true statement. It will give you Boolean has a true statement. Two for an integer, it will give you one. One for float will give you 1.2. And that is how it is getting 1.2, for example. Uh, for example, I'll come here and I'll tell us like like this. If I tell us boolean. Oh 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 oh. I'll tell us like oh point oh 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 one like this. What is this one now? True or false? What is this one? What is this one? True or false? True or false? True or false? This will be a true one, right? Later on, if I tell us, I'll come into integer one, right? So if I tell us like integer one, integer will become what? Out 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 out. Oh, wicked guys, wicked guys, wicked guys. <laughs> okay <laughs> what is this one now so boolean will give you two and this will become a oh, particular oh, oh. <laughs> okay so what is this one now one right so again what will happen now what will happen now what will happen now what will happen now this will become what float now right so this is nothing but float and i'll go for this one so what is this one now so again it is nothing but what one point oh, oh, one point right so that is how it is done done, done. 
Got it? So I have I have broken down here, right? So Boolean, it is converted to two, two is then again converted into one, and then uh, for float, it is nothing but one point two, right? And that is all. Not here complex. What is this complex now? A uh, last one, last last one. I will finish it out, guys. Or else uh, it will be a good one, right? Uh, look on here. Complex. What do you mean by complex now? Complex, 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 complex. What is complex? You know something called as like this real and imaginary part in mathematics. You have really in all the languages you have it guys in all the languages you have this but we haven't invoked it okay so if i if i tell it as something like this zero plus zero j you have it yeah zero i or whatever it is right so for example if i come here and if i tell us something like this uh i'll just like, like uh, complex i will tell it complex when i tell complex you can see this real and imaginary part right when i tell something like this right when i tell something like this and I have it something here, and I have it something with what? Zero J, right? So something like this, right? So real and imaginary part itself, right? Now, coming on here, for example, A is equal to, you have it something like this. I'll just tell us, uh, I can set it a real and imagined number. For example, three comma four, I'll I'll send it, right? So if I tell us like four, you have it what? Three plus four J. In this, in this manner, we do the output. So here, it is nothing but a method overloading, you can see it, right? For example, I can pass it one parameter itself. It's an option for you. If I pass it like this, it will give you the next one as what? 0j. But if it will give you what? 0j. Done? The sound come re pare. Okay, got it. So nothing to worry about the complex. It's nothing much needed in your uh, coming programming. But if you go for the higher thing, you needed it. Uh, when we talk about that one, we'll talk about this. So just you remember this one, complex, complex in the sense you have real and imaginary, but that's that's more than enough. And it has it some three things, and you can go for it. So one is with an empty. If I have an empty, what is the output? If I have two parameters, what is the output? If I have a single parameter, what is the output? Right? So go for that. Done? So this is all about the individual case. So you have integer, you have float, you have boolean, and you have complex.